Hello and welcome back my friends to a Clash of Kings 3.0 I am Daily Fix and this is Mr. Saxy I want to thank you all very much for the continuing support of the series and the more support the more enthusiastic I become but there's been a slight change Oh yeah, we got ourselves our very, very first companion. Meet Mr. Handsome. Mr. Handsome is a name created by Mad B. He wants to be an archer, so I, I, I took out this character and I've slightly, slightly altered it. So he has some power draw instead of five in riding. Uh, so um, the, the reason I do this is I... I, I only changed the points and the stats that I get, so I don't feel like cheating. But let's just get going. Now, we need to equip this person with a bow, of course. And we will also, we will all be doing that eventually. Um, I don't think there's anything in the item pool. That's a bit of a shame. Um, but there should be a way for us to make sure that this companion will get what he wants now there was a quest here the beginning part two we need to find sir clifford gower he is in the castle hall of the weeping town so let's go to the castle town then so here is the person that we are looking for sir clifton septon garibald told me you had someone to deliver a letter Ah, yes, I do. The maiden daughter of Simmond Tempt Templeton. The knight of the nine stars is returning, is turning thirteen this next moon. Sir Simmond's uncle has decided to hold a tournament in her honor. My late wife was a Templeton by birth, making the young girl my niece by marriage. I've been invited to attend the melee, but my duties keep me here. However, I was always fond of my lady wife, and for her sake I wish to send my name day present to the young girl. Okay, what can I do? Take this letter, and this ruby ring which belongs to my lady wife. That's a bit of a weird, right, lady wife? And deliver them to the Castellan of the Nine Stars. He'll make sure the long, the young la long lad receives them. Be mindful, however, that you do not upset her uncle. There's a cu curious bunch. I'll make sure you're compensated for your trouble, Mr. Sexy, obviously. Uh, well, well, sure, sure, why not, right? Um, I'll do that. Look at this! God, I'm sexy! <sighs> Let's see where the, where the heck do we need to go. So, we are going to, it lies near, close to Snakewood in the Vale. Uh, let's turn the camera, it should be around here then. Um, nine stars, there we have to go. But we'll have to still be very, very careful. Uh, we don't really have, I say be careful, and I've completely lost track of my character now, didn't I? I did. Okay, we are over there. So we got 20 guys here. It doesn't necessarily mean that we can fight anything that we want. Um, so a near a nearby man whispers to his wife, etching clothes. You overheard a part of that conversation. For what you can make out, it appears Stannis Batarian has laid claim to the throne. When you confront the peasant, he confirms your sus a suspicion, claiming Stannis an ungodly man. Working with with demons from beyond the edge of the world and plotting to tear down the sept of Baytor, Baylor. Okay, so there now a war. Oh yeah, of course I completely forgot. I still have to level up. Now I'm thinking personally, I want to go to in charisma so we can get some leadership going. And uh, the main reason is, my God, look at this weekly cost. It's been amazing. And Mr. Handsome. You cost me a 1500 gold, sir. So you better live up to your expectations. I can't have a companion that's not pulling his weight. Especially now. War is around the world. And we'll have to be very, very careful. 
Uh, no visit to Claire Fulton. Okay, yes, test. Okay, wow. A lot of war declarations over here. Now, this is the area where's a l where a lot of mounted outlaws are. I'd rather be fighting those bandits than them, but I'm afraid that that is going to be out of the question. Hmm. Hmm. Now, we do have a hatch knight. And we got some of these reach vanguards. Now, they are really pulling in their weight. Uh, this guy is extremely expensive. So, huh. Even the forest bandits join at their side. So, let's charge in the enemies. Hopefully, we will survive. I want all my troops over here. Infantry, hold this position. Cavalry, go to the side. I want you to be charging in. Now, I did take a different bow. Archers. Archers. Okay, let's put in my infantry more in front. My archers apparently do not seem to be very much interested in listening. Come on. Come on, guys. No! Oh, bloody! Here I am, shooting my own mount. Oh, yeah. Come on! Okay, infantry, go. Cavalry, go. Now, we know that I am not the best at the moment. With a blade, so I have to be careful. Come on, guys. You can do this. Okay, we'll have to make sure these guys fall as soon as possible because they are holding my guys away from these bloody archers. Come on. Come on. I'll join my guys in here. I think we should be able to make it. Oh, wow. You got an awesome looking blade, sir. And armor as well. You've been doing quite well for yourself. Come on, we can do this. Oh wow, we made it! It's incredible! <laughs> I really am surprised about that. <laughs> okay, so we were able to kill four. Uh, Mr. Handsome is wounded, but of course uh, he wasn't that keen on his own uh, gear at the time. So... I wouldn't mind getting a few, few more just melee kind of people. Um, access the item pool. Uh, yeah, we can definitely give some of it to our companion. Uh, 12, 9. Uh, we got another bow here, so we are going to be equipping our companion uh, with some gear. Let's just grab everything. Uh, yeah, great. Okay, done. Now, I believe there should be a way for us to manage the companions. But, of course, I am unable to find it right away. Mod options? No? Oh, well, it's fine. So, party. Mr. Mr. Hansen, come here, buddy. Um, yeah, I can't equip. Ah, that's a bit of a shame. Let me see your inventory. So they will be uh, getting everything that they need. So uh, what he wanted to have is a bow. Uh, the best accuracy, please. Uh, give him the arrows. Uh, give him some gloves. Wait, what gloves are you having? Okay, you already have some okay gloves. Okay, boots. Uh, we can give you a bit better gear. Give you a wooden shield. Now, eventually I will... Give him a two-handed weapon, because that is what he preferred, but I don't have one in my inventory right away. So we'll just have to do by this. Uh, this way we can now set him up to be a archer. And hopefully the archers will start listening. So, yeah. Long live the archer. If it wasn't for the archer, we would have been killed. 
without a bloody doubt. So we need more troops, and I'm, I'm thinking about yeah, well, we're going to the nine stars, of course. Uh, but also, uh, I would like to go up to the north to Barrington, uh, because um, well, Baron Hall. I have to see where that is. Um, let's see notes, locations, Baron Hall. Baron Hall. Of course, that's very, very close. Uh, because I've already had the next companion lined up. And um, yeah, I'll have to be searching for a new companion. I'll explain how he became in our army. Okay, so there are, is a bunch. Oh boy. I'm not quite happy about this. Uh, yeah, we are not in that good of a position we have to make sure that these horsemen did that they have to fall right away uh, we will fight you to the end uh, change to charge the enemy okay so we got a little bit of a river here now I want my guys up here so everybody come back and this time I will tell them to Hold fire. Yeah, it's going to be a rough fight. Especially with those mounted units. Uh, there's a lot of four coming our way. Uh, yeah, okay. So they will reach us sooner. Uh, but that's quite fine. We have some pikes. So they will be running into them. Archers. Firing orders. No. Archers. Firing orders. And I will press F2 as soon as they're close. Okay, start shooting. Come on, let's kill that guy. There's a second one going. Cavalry go in. Okay, let's not try to kill everyone on sight. It does appear that some of their mounted units appear to be stuck. That's quite weird. Why can I not backspace on this? This is weird. I am not able to see any units. <laughs> Great. Yes, that is what we need. Okay, a bit higher. Oh man, come on with the accuracy. We got a better bow now. Uh, infantry go, cavalry go. Like I said, I don't necessarily want to go in first because I will probably die. Man, my archery skill sucks. It's terrible. Okay, let's just go. I'm still quite confused about only fighting two cavalry units. Uh, archers. Come closer. Why can I not? Oh, now I can backspace. That was weird. That was really, really weird. So, are they stuck? It appears they might be stuck. Um, then we are going to be giving the command to just charge to the archers. Yeah, they are definitely in those buildings. So those buildings might have saved our heights. Unfortunately, they probably are not able to get out of there by themselves. Because they are all hitting the wall. Is there a way for me to shoot some arrows in there without getting caught? Yes, there is. Come on. What a way to raise your archery skill, right? Yes, I did it. Nice. Okay, there's one here. Yeah, I figured that the shield was going to be in the way. Okay. Come on. Okay, now pull him back.
He it keeps getting in here. Wow, we even grabbed someone else's horse. Come on. Yes! We did it. Uh, there should be one more in here. Okay, everyone. Follow me. And uh, we're getting to the position where we can start pounding that guy. Uh, the reason why I want them to follow me actually is because, uh, well, I am so low on health at the moment. It's not even funny. Come on. And we are still playing at somewhat of a difficulty, so whew, we managed. <laughs> yes! There we go, we did awesome! Yeah! So we got some more vanguards up here. Um, I'm still worried slightly about the amount of money. Look at these guys, they're so expensive. But these guys, they're not bad at all. Um, I definitely want to have as many as possible. Hopefully we'll find more parties, more people to fight. Uh, we did level up. Uh, access the item pool, so we got the, got some stuff up here. It's uh, not really better. Um, so let's just return. Let your companions collect everything. Uh, let's run. Uh, let's find some bandits to fight while on our way to the Vale. It's an honor honorable man. Okay, there's the veil. So nine stars should be very, very close. Um, there you go. And uh, if we come across some bandits, then we'll definitely chase them down. I did spot something getting up here. Hmm, okay. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go to 9 stars. Wow, this has... Really is not a good of a position to be going in. And who should we be joining? Because we are going to be able... To, well, we need to join someone. Because look at the weekly costs. I think we might be over our heads in here. These guys... I like them, I like them, but we are going to disband them. Uh, mainly because, uh, well, I, I want to keep down on, on our amount of money. I like some of these guys. Well, we'll have to assume a lot of them eventually will die. So the 9 stars is close. Okay, let's go in there, request entry to the castle. And let's go to the Lord's Hall. I think he might be even on the um, the tournament grounds. So the tournament stands has been up between the uh, shallow hill and the wall of the castle. Already merchants and enter ent entertainers. My god, my English. I have set up shop in anticipation of the influx of knights, squires and ladies in waiting coming to attend the tourney. The arena surrounds the castle of the nine stars. is very fertile. Great she um, great shaggy sheep graze the fields and farmheads, being busy bringing in the harvest. To the north of the castle is the forest that spawns many leagues, and to the south, fertile valleys. Okay, great, 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 great. Let's go into the tournament grounds. Look at this guy going! Look at him go! Yeah, come on, do it, do it, do it! Ah, uh, oh, that wasn't all really... This, this isn't that spectacular. So, the guardsman. So, Ellen Tollett. Servants. Some villagers here popping up. A silent brother. 
Yeah, you probably won't be speaking a lot then, huh? Servants. Hmm. Oh well. Yes, can I help you? My lord, I'm looking for the Castellan. I've bought I've brought a gift and letter from Sir Clifton Gower. Oh well, I'm the Castellan of the Nine Stars, so you found your man. Sir Clifford, you say? By the seven. We haven't heard from him in years. How is the old rogue doing? Oh never mind. How would you know? You said something about a gift and a letter. I doubt Rona can even remember, Sir Clifton. Not with all those great uncles of her taking up all her time and attention. Sir um, Simon's father had seven brothers. Can you believe that? Uh, Bostrious and arrogant, the lots of them. Here's the letter and the gift. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Sexy. I do appreciate it. The young girl, or the young lady, will surely enjoy the grift. The ring is an old family heirloom. How? Okay, so you do know, know your way around heirlooms then, huh? I'll make sure she receives them f uh, right away. Say, while you're here, you should make a stroll around the grounds. A great many merchants and mumbers have camped outside the walls. Um, they're sure to provide great spectacle and merchandise. Okay, I'll do that. Um, good, good. Do stay around for the tourney, will you? We haven't had as many visitors as we hoped. The mountain clan have grown wild and many knights and lords have decided to stay in their keeps and hold fast rather than risk the road. It was difficult. Uh, it was different when John Evan ruled the Vale when those vile savages would, uh, wouldn't have dared show their faces around. Okay. So we do get an upgrade there for our quest. And um, we'll do this the uh, the next episode, guys. So uh, here we are uh, in the tournament. And um, I hope to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button if you feel like supporting the series. All the likes will help the episode to get higher than the search results. And the more people that will join the more companions that we will have. As for now, thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.